Hey guys, uh, Felipe here with another Team Talks. Uh, I'm the HR lead at Omnia. I'm here with Catalin today, one of our senior full stack engineers. And I'll let you do your introduction, Catalin. Hello, Felipe. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Catalin. Uh, I'm a software engineer here at Omnia, and I'm working. Uh, I'm working here right from its inception. I think uh, for almost three years. Nice, nice. Uh, actually, we were. Uh, you were my first co-worker, Omnia. You know, when I joined yeah, the team, you yeah. were the first guy there. So that's so that's awesome. <laughs> I just sharing with everyone here. He's he's one of the OGs. Now, um, an old one. Where, that, no, that's 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 amazing. That's amazing. So what what are we talking about today, Catalan? Yeah. So today we are talking about staking on Omnia sponsor nodes and okay. delegated staking. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. And uh, so, so Omnia sponsor knows that's what you said. So from a, an HR guy, I'm a bit of a noob. I know you're the technical guy here. So what a sponsor, what a sponsor knows, what are the Omnia sponsor nodes? So basically, uh, Omnia sponsor nodes are uh, paid nodes, uh, which are sponsored by uh, Omnia and offered for free um, okay. to early stage stakers only for a limited period of time. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, when it comes to uh, um, those paid nodes and so on, it seems like quite straightforward. Um, but why should I use them? Like, what is the purpose of it? Is that an advantage of it? Uh, yes, yes, uh, of course. Uh, because uh, Omnia sponsor nodes are basically pro plan paid nodes, they are also high performance. Uh, they are designed to offer a boosted APY higher than uh, the free ones. So uh, the higher the node performance will be, the higher the APY. Oh, okay. So pretty much like you're finding those sponsor nodes and understanding which one has the higher performance. And then based on the higher performance, uh, you're able to sort of gain more, right? Is that what it is? Yes, yeah, basic, basically um, Omnia offer them um, in order to uh, quickly stake and ha have a um, boosted APY instead of you uh, buying a new node or onboarding your own, which uh, which means you need uh, some technical expertise. So uh, will on only uh, is your use. Makes for, sense. Makes okay. so it's the, so it's what I need. The user friendly stuff. Uh, now yeah. when it comes yeah. to <laughs> when it comes to uh, uh, the cost, is that a cost attached to that? No, no. Uh, that, that's the that's the good thing. Uh, All right. It's free. So okay. Uh, it's, it's also very easy to use. Uh, I I can show you right away. Nice, nice. So you're gonna share the screen. Uh, yes. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah, man. If it's free, let's do it. I'm yeah. excited for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, basically, uh, from our dashboard, it's very easy. Uh, you can uh, go to stake Omnia token. Okay. And uh, right away, you will see that uh, the node is already uh, onboarded and deployed uh, underneath by Omnia. Uh, you, you can see that uh, the, the node is not free. Uh, basically, uh, it's a paid one, but uh, you won't pay anything because Omnia paid this. Okay. Um, uh, have a good SLA and also a good RPS. Uh, we can see we have uh, 500 here. Also, nice. we have some, uh, some um, APY and yield things described. Cool, cool. No, that looks uh, that looks great. Now, for the APY that you are showing me right there, um, is that anything that you like that I can control it? How do I know exactly the APY I'm getting it based on the amount of tokens I'm staking it? Like, how how does that work? I know the dashboard looks quite clear for me, but I would love to understand how you know if I put this amount of uh, staking using this node, how much APY I'm getting it right? How can I find that out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, very good question, and it's uh, it's uh, quite easy because um, right here we can see which is the uh, the base APY. Uh, in this case, it's nine point zero nine, but okay. uh, we also have some boosts. Uh, so right. basically, um, uh, an addition of uh, of the base APY, we have the stake long boost. Uh, what is the the stake long boost? Uh, you my you my question. Um, yeah. Basically, we offer a, a boosted uh, APY for the ones okay. that are staking for at least one year. So right. basically, uh, in in this uh, in this example, let's say uh, we'll stake on a period of two years. Okay. In the right side, we'll see that okay, we are you, you are you will um, uh, stake uh, for two years. The base yield is nineteen point uh, zero six, 
and oh. also you'll have applied uh, um, an API boost uh, of 50 percent. So basically, basically you'll have a total of uh, twenty six point sixty nine. Nice, um, nice. That looks, sorry for interrupting, but that looks really cool. So pretty much like you put the dates, right? And then it shows you the, the, the APYs for, for that specific dates, but also so show you the stake long boosted, like sort of a, 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 a percentage and then they add up. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's awesome. Um, it does give it a big boost. Like, I mean, 50% on top of that, that's, that's massive. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, you can play with the the period. The period. Um, my my advice is to use at least one year because uh, okay. from the from uh, from one year you will benefit for um, at least thirty percent. Okay. And yeah. uh, as long as you uh, go to two years on a, on a two two years selection, you'll have the fifty percent, which nice. Uh, I think it's uh, it's very good. Yeah, no, but even the 30% for a year, I think is great. I mean, a lot of the times it's taking like, if you're able to reach that 17% and up, like it's already great. If you're able to add up something like a boost, even better, right? So no, I think that's a no brainer. Uh, thanks for sharing yeah. that. Yeah, no problem. And what's next on the staking? Is that any other sort of feature or stuff you want to show about it? Uh, yes, we are uh, we are currently we are currently uh, working on the delegated staking. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, you might want to. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm on. I'm, I'm, you you got exactly what I was gonna ask you. What is a delegated staking? Like I said, I'm a yeah. noob man. Don't don't talk to me thinking I know it all. It's it's a very interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's quite defined like uh, a very easy way to stake. Okay. Uh, delegated staking it's uh, more like staking on uh, someone else node essentially a stake without a headache okay yeah and i think that makes a lot of sense and uh, so it's pretty much like an easy way of staking right mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah. okay is that any benefits attached to that because because i know like i mean you know why would i go to do a complex one if the easier way of staking it's <laughs> better right or if it's the same way why am I going to do the harder one anyways, right? So I'm wondering what are the benefits of the easier uh, way to stake? Uh, basically, uh, there are benefits for both technical and non-technical guys. So okay. uh, for non-technical guys, uh, it's quite easy. It's easier to uh, quickly stake your, uh, your Omnia tokens on someone else's node and share the rewards. It's basically the easiest way. So uh, yeah, it's straight and easy. It's awesome. It's good. Awesome. Uh, but if you are a tech savvy and you okay. already have your nodes and want to uh, get some yield, you can put yeah. your nodes to work and allow others to stake on your nodes. Basically, okay. having more tokens staked uh, on your node will result in higher rewards. So okay. yeah, it's and a, for it's this. A win -win. And for this one that you're saying, if you're not tacky, you know, you just sort of like. Uh, um, chooses someone else's node and, and sort of share those rewards and stuff. Like, I think that's great, but how, how hard is to manage that? Is that something for someone that's, you know, not a, a really technical oriented, how, how hard is for me to manage those, those uh, nodes and that's the that staking process after is implemented. Like in terms no, of no, uh, understanding performance and things like that, that's what I meant. No, it's quite easy. You, you okay. basically just stake and that's all. Awesome. That's all. Awesome. And uh, what if you are tech savvy, man? What if you are the, what if you are Catalan? What if you are an engineer, <laughs> a full stack engineer that know it all? Um, yeah, it, it's, in, it, it's interesting too, because uh, if you, you are a tech guy, uh, you, you probably um, already have that nodes and uh, yeah, you, you can generate some yield. And also you can uh, improve the infrastructure decentralization because okay. the more people are onboarding their nodes, uh, okay. the higher the decentralization will be. So you, you kind of help also others, also the infrastructure and the DeFi and so on. Nice, nice, nice. So it's more like, um, you know, more people onboarding their nodes means that will bring a higher performance and higher decentralization and so on, right? So the more yeah. usage, the better for the community overall. No, that's that's actually pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. And uh, is there anything else you want to show me on the dashboard? Uh, no, no. I think for now, uh, cool. for now we are good. And uh, for everyone here, this dashboard it is one of.
Catalan's big babies. Uh, it's one of the projects <laughs> and things that he worked on it for the past way. How long have you been working on this dashboard? Oh, to be honest, uh, the, the dashboard was uh, quite in the in the first application I, I was working here at Omnia. Okay. I, I think I, I'm the one that uh, uh, I'm, I was working on the Omnia MVP yeah. uh, with Christian, Alex and so on. <laughs> it was yeah, yeah. A, a really good time uh, right nice. there. But, uh, but here at Omnia, we are working on a lot of other things. A lot of, uh, a lot of pieces are, are, are working uh, underneath. So yeah. nice. also, also we are, we are cooking some good stuff. So <laughs> stay tuned. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. I just wanted to touch on the dashboard because I know that that's one of the things that, you know, that's one of your jams. That's one of the things you worked at a lot recently. So, uh, yeah. I appreciate you taking the time to talk and share that with our community. I think that. You know, the more we do the team talks, the more people can see uh, from of the course. inner side of the company while we're doing it. And, and I appreciate your time. Uh, okay, that's a wrap up, everyone. Catalan, thanks very much for joining this team talks. And everyone, please uh, stay tuned, subscribe to your YouTube channels, uh, you know, join our communities, stay tuned for the next team talks. Uh, that's the number three. And uh, we're hoping to be launching the number four soon as well. And uh, also double check all the links and all the content that we'll be adding to the captions. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.